Um, here's Leonard in Seattle. Leonard, I'm glad that you called. Great to have you with us. Hi. Hey, thank you very much. You know, what I, what I believe what's going on is I think that the Republicans are out to wreck the country by holding America hostage and squeezing Barack Obama into a deal to prevent the sequester from going through. You know, and I think that this is not right to begin with. Wait, 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 I wait, mean, wait, wait. I want to understand. I'm a little foggy here. You think the Republicans want to wreck the economy with the sequester, with a hold Obama hostage so that he, what, has to go along with it? Um, basically, what I'm getting at, sir, is uh, what the Republicans want to do is hold, is basically wreck the economy with the sequester by holding America hostage and squeezing me, Obama into a deal. Let me, what, how, do, how does that work? What what? How does it work? Well, but yeah, wrecking the wrecking the economy. What would wreck the economy? That's what the sequester is. Well, I know, but once you tell, what is it? How does it wreck the economy? The, how does it wreck the economy? How does it wreck it? By crashing the stock market, by crash, by basically killing Medicare, Medicaid, the Pentagon, Social Security, you name it. That's what their that's what their goal is. Leonard to destroy everything. Leonard, is this really Joe Biden? You're really Joe Biden, aren't you? Because you, this is the kind of thing he would call here and say. No, I'm a Democrat, and I know exactly what the hell oh, I'm well, talking that, about. Uh, Leonard, you've just admitted you don't know what the hell you're talking about, and that's that confirms it. Leonard, there is no crashing of the economy. There is no crashing Medicare. There is no killing Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, killing the Pentagon. We're, over the next 10 years, Leonard, we're going to spend $44 trillion. If we do the sequester, we're going to spend $43 trillion, Leonard. Um, as is the case with all spending cuts, it really not big enough to matter. Don't doubt me, Leonard. I wouldn't lie to you. I have no reason to. Rush Limbaugh.